guys, today I am filming a super late update for my rolling and sample project pan. In between the last two updates, it was like five weeks. This time it's almost six weeks, which is super awful. That means I've used a ton of stuff. I'm gonna try my best to go as quick as possible, but this is still gonna be a 30, 45 minute video. I'm so sorry about that. Also, I'm filming this in like the afternoon, evening time, usually I film at night, so the natural light might mess up throughout here. I've been trying to film this video so many times and it has not worked out, so I just need to get it done. Okay, so starting with the things that I used up, so, so many of them. I had a bunch of samples and I don't even know if I can remember all of them fully, but I'm gonna do my best. So starting with hair, I had some foil samples. The first is the Briogeo Scalp Revival Charcoal and Coconut Oil Micro Exfoliating Shampoo. I absolutely love this. I have several more foil samples that I'm gonna use up. I have a deluxe sample. I would totally buy this in the full size, although I do think it comes in a jar and I would rather it be in a squeeze tube, so I will keep an eye out for that. So many other clarifying products either strip all the oils out of my hair and make the texture feel weird, or they're the scrubs where it's hard to get all the pieces out of my hair. This one is so easy to work in the hair to rinse it out. Absolutely love that. And it's something that I definitely think is worth having if you use a lot of dry shampoo specifically or other hair products. Then I used this IGK Offline 3 Minute Hydration Hair Mask. This is okay, it was hydrating, it smelled nice, but there are plenty of other more affordable conditioners that hydrate my hair just as well, so that's not something that I would purchase. So then we have my little mini shampoo. This is the Clairol Shimmer Lights Color Enhancing Shampoo for blondes and people with silver hair. And I've used this before and I liked it in the past, but I didn't like it as much this time. It has a like a, a nice scent. It's a little nostalgic, but really this made my hair feel very greasy, which I didn't expect. Didn't love that. I would not repurchase it. I did just get another mini of the shampoo and conditioner. I actually think I'm gonna pass it on because I have so many other things to get through. I really like the Joyco purple shampoo best because my hair is actually very oily and that does a nice job of not making it too greasy or overly hydrated. So I definitely would purchase the Joyco purple shampoo if I was in the market for one. So I will not repurchase that. Then I cut it open as you can see, I did use up one of my full size conditioners I've been working on for forever. This is the Joyco K Pack Color Therapy Luster Lock. That's a shine treatment, but it works like a deep conditioner. I love the scent of this. It's very hydrating. I have very oily roots, but very dry ends. So I need basically products from like two different lines. I love this. I would definitely buy this in the future if I was able to get it during the Ulta hair event, but just 20% off. I don't need that. I have a lot of shampoo conditioner to work through, but I really, really enjoy this one. Definitely recommend that. Then at my last update, I was all the way down here. So I had like one or two uses left. This is the Pureology Color Fanatic leave-in product. I love this. This is in my top three. I love this one. Bumble and Bubble Hair Dresser Invisible Primer, not the oil and the original is 10. Those are my favorite. So I have a lot more minis. I actually got a full size free gift of this. I would buy this in the future again, if I can get it 40, 50% off from Ulta. I like this, has a nice scent, makes my hair feel soft, but it's not too greasy. I also do not spray this in my roots. And then after I used up the Pureology, I moved on to the Moroccan oil all-in-one leave-in conditioner. And this has an incredible scent. I really did enjoy this one. I still think I like my top three a little bit more, but this would probably be number four. If I get some more minis, I totally use them up and I would buy this if I was in need. And again, it was like 40, 50% off. Then the last hair product that I used up is the Bumble and Bumble Surf Spray Salt Spray. I finally used up three out of three of these. It was my goal to finish these by the end of summer. I was definitely able to do so. I love this compared to like the Not Your Mother's salt spray, which is very drying. Even the Verb Sea Salt Spray, I didn't like as much as this. I do have this saved on my like Ulta and Sephora favorites list. That way I check those lists all the time to see if something happens to be on sale. And I'm hoping that this might go on. I was hoping this would be on sale during the Ulta hair event. I don't think it was. 
but maybe Black Friday, Sephora or Ulta might have it on sale. We'll see. Again, I would buy this if I could get it 40 or 50% off. And moving on to skincare, there's a whole lot here. And first would be my full size of the L'Oreal Pure Clay Cleanser, the Detox Brighten Clay to Mousse version. I got this on clearance at Walmart for three bucks. I had a little deluxe size sample of this. I really enjoyed it. I didn't love the full size as much. And I think part of it is because I have so many other cleansers that I would rather be using. I bought this one because it was so cheap, but I didn't need to because I had plenty of cleansers. But this is a nice product. When I got towards the end, I was using you know, even more of it, not too much I was wasting, but then I was also using this on my chest to help detox because I do sweat a lot there. I'm happy it's gone. When it repurchased it, it was, it was fine. And I think it's probably been discontinued anyway. Then I just used this up. It's so tiny. I was only able to get a few uses out of it. The Peach and Lily Power Calm Hydrating Gel Cleanser. Really nice texture. It did make my skin feel nice and hydrated without being like shiny or too greasy. I did like this and I have another mini that I'll work through. Possibly could purchase it in the future again if it was 40 or 50% off. Then I used up the Tula So Poreless Deep Exfoliating Blackhead Scrub. I did actually really like this. I've tried some other scrubs from Tula and this one is nice. I did feel like it did get in there and scrub really well, but I do really like the pure joystick that I'm using right now. And also Clinique has a scrub that I really enjoy a little bit more. I love scrubs that are that sandy texture, but this one is good. If I get any more minis, I'll use it up. I probably will never buy something from Tool. I think it's a very overhyped, very overly sponsored brand. And most of the products I've tried, I really haven't liked. Then I used up my full size of the Pixi Retinol Tonic. This is a 3.4 ounce bottle. I don't notice a difference between the tonics. It's something that I would purchase in the future. I really like the Pixie toners. I think it's a great product. Then we've got some serums. So I finish a couple of minis, the Origins Ginseng Into the Glow Brightening Serum. That gave me a glow, didn't really do much else, would not repurchase. The It Cosmetics Hello Results wrinkle reducing daily retinol serum in cream. I like the texture of this, but didn't do anything for me. Wouldn't purchase it. Then the Strivectin Advanced Hydration Lactic Acid Nightly Retexturizing Serum was okay. Didn't notice anything about it either. I'm not very interested in Strivectin as a brand. Most of the time I pass it on, but I'm glad I tried it. Um, if I get any more of the Strive Action or the it Cosmetics, I will use them up. If I get another of the Origins, I'll pass it on. And with me, I don't really notice a difference with serums. It's just that it's about like the texture. But I did use up a full size, which is so exciting. This, and all my markings have rubbed off. This is the Sunday Riley A Plus High Dose Retinoid Serum. I did like this. If I get any more minis, I will use them up. If I can get this on super sale again, I would repurchase it because like I'm sure it's doing something for me that I just can't see. But I, yeah, there was a really great deal where it was like, this was free. You only had to pay for shipping, which was $5.95. So absolutely for a one ounce Sunday Riley product. So this was, this was good. But again, I don't notice a ton from serum or skincare in general, honestly. Oh, then I've got some foil samples here. The Laneige cream skin toner and moisturizer super interesting because most toners are very runny and wet this is like a little creamier i did put this in a little sample jar so it was easier for me to apply and i did like this i don't think i would buy it i know karen harris is obsessed but i like my pixie ones just fine then i used the laneige radiant c cream which is a vitamin c moisturizer it was a little bit more hydrating than i would like but if you do have like combo dry skin or normal skin. I do think that you would like this for a good daytime moisturizer. And then I used up a sample of the Belief True Cream Aqua Bomb. You guys know this is my holy grail daytime moisturizer. And I did actually just buy the full size in a holiday set, which I'm so excited to finally have a full size of my favorite product. Then we've got some mini moisturizers. Speaking of my favorite product, here's the Belief Aqua Bomb. I always get these as 100 point perks from Sephora. I really love this. And luckily now that the brand is sold at Ulta, this comes in a lot of Ulta free gifts as well, which is fantastic. And like I said, I already bought full size, the perfect amount of hydration for my oily skin during the day. Then I used 
these two Laneige moisturizers from the birthday gift from Sephora. This is the water sleeping mask. I don't like the texture of this. I don't really think this does anything for me. And I did actually get another of this set and I'm giving the sleeping mask away. I don't feel like using it up. On the other hand, we have the water bank moisture cream. This was fine. This does give a lot of hydration. So this would be a good nighttime moisturizer for me, but it would be good for the day for someone that has dry, normal skin. I will use up the other many I have, but I wouldn't repurchase it. Again, I do prefer the Belief moisturizing balm for the nighttime. And I did just buy that as well. You'll see that in my October haul. Then I did finish two of the Belief moisturizing eye balms. And the reason for that is because I was already like halfway through one and then I got one from my sister and I think hers was a little bit older. So I wanted to use it right away and it also kills me to have skincare like gifted to me when i don't know how old it is not that i think anybody has given me old product i just have had every single item in my collection in a spreadsheet for years so just it's like that aspect not anything about the actual age of the product so whenever someone gives me skincare like a friend i will put it in my sample project to use it right away again i don't think anyone is giving me old products it's simply for the fact that i do not have a date to put into my spreadsheet with makeup whenever i receive it no matter what when my friend bought it whenever i receive it that's when i put it in but for skincare i just feel differently for some reason so i had been able to use up both of these i love this eye cream i did just buy this as well in a gift set which I'm super excited about and I have several little minis of these as a 400 point perks I really would not recommend getting the skincare minis as 100 point perks for the most part except for eye creams because eye creams you can get a lot of use out of minis other products I feel you can often get with a coupon code from Sephora or an, an also free gift so like I said I know I have gotten some belief moisture or aqua bomb and moisture bombs but I actually had a lot of points so that's why but anyway eye cream minis I do think are worth your points and those are incredible I'm doing okay here okay so then I got some SPFs this is the first aid beauty weightless liquid mineral sunscreen with zinc oxide SPF 30 this does have a what am I thinking of here it has a tint to it oh my gosh I'm trying to see the expiration date this expires February 2022 and I will tell you this felt grainy on my hands and on my skin it felt like I accidentally like when you're at the beach if I'm putting sunscreen on and sand just blew into my hand that is what it felt like it was disgusting and this is not expired yet so like that was so bizarre I used it up but no I didn't like the texture and I didn't like that like what is up with that let me know if you've had that experience again this is not expired then something that I love, I mentioned this in my summer favorites. This is the Everyday Humans Resting Beach Face SPF 30 Sunscreen Screen Serum. This feels like a serum product. It feels like a skincare product. I don't know about the white cast. It really didn't leave anything on me, I think, because it is like that skincare texture. But again, I'm super pale, so I probably wouldn't notice anyway. But I really don't think so. I think this would work well for a lot of people. This is something I would totally buy in the future. A full size is $24 from Ulta. I'm not sure if a drugstore coupon works on it or not. You'd be surprised with some brands, like the coupons work on Dry Bar for some reason. I would never consider Dry Bar a drugstore brand. I have other SPFs. SPFs for the most part only last like a year. So I want to use the other ones that I have first, but I will definitely buy this. You guys have got to try it out. I don't know anything about mineral, chemical, sunscreens. I'd I really, I said it last time, but I need to ask Sarah Rose what her thoughts might be about this, but it's really good. I highly recommend this. And this is why I love getting little freebie samples from Ulta. That's how I got this and I fell in love. It made me actually want to use SPF on a daily basis. Next thing, I'm so proud of myself. I used up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I used up all seven of my um, Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Extra Strength Peel Pads. I'm so excited. I told you guys I wanted to finish these over two months and I finished them all again. It has been six weeks since my last update, so that made it pretty easy. It was basically like one a week. I really do like this product. It makes my skin feel very clean, which I really need, especially if I am lazy and go a couple days without washing my face or doing my skincare, which I do sometimes, and my skin just feels like clogged. This is so nice. If you can ever get these as a 
free sample from Sephora, get them. They're a really good value. They're so expensive. I have other peel pads from Replenix and from Dr. Zenovia, so I am not going to go out and purchase any. I want to use those, see how they compare to these. But as you will see, as we go throughout this video, I have a few more of these that I got as samples that I want to use up, but I really like this product and yeah, I can't wait to try my other peel pads to see how they compare, but it feels like a big accomplishment to get those done because those have been in my collection for a while. And now that is one less peel in my inventory. Then we've got some body empties and these are all just like little samples. Again, super happy to get these out of my collection. I'm really bad at using body products. The first is the Hemp's Pink Pomelo and Himalayan Sea Salt Scrub. This was not good. The texture of this, it was like salt and as you rub it into your skin they just all spread out it wasn't very scrubby so i would not recommend that then we have the bulgari rose goldia blossom delight perfume it's a little it's a little too like powdery floral for me i wouldn't buy that or whoops really recommend it this i'm mad at myself for not getting during 21 days of beauty it came up as one of those surprise steals i'll keep an eye on it though i'll definitely add it to my loves list or my favorites list to see when it goes on sale again. This is the Josie Marin Whipped Argan Body Butter, the Pro Retinol version, and it is unscented. This has a really nice texture. It sinks into the skin. It makes your skin feel hydrated, not greasy. I really, really loved this, but I hate that it comes in a jar. I just want products that come in a tube. So it is something that I would actually consider buying in the future because I really liked the texture and the consistency on my skin. Now I'm gonna show you my little miscellaneous empties as well. Usually I save this for the end with my declutters, but they're just sitting here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. First would be my Garnier Nutrice Nourishing Color Cream. I did dye my hair again with the help of my mom. And I went back to my go-to shade last time I used like champagne toast because my color was out of stock this one's a little bit more red toned this is number 93 light golden blonde as I mentioned I have redheads in my family so when I buy a color like this it pulls like a strawberry blonde which I love I feel like that looks very natural on me so my favorite hair dye kit so good then I did use up the little conditioner that comes with it the after color mask I wish this was made in the full size because this is so hydrating and smells incredible so very happy that I dyed my hair again I want to keep up with it better then I used up a six fluid ounce size of the Equate 100% Acetone Nail Polish Remover. I know acetone is harsh on your nails, don't care. I love it, so I'm gonna keep buying it. It's only like a dollar. Then I used up the Bath & Body Works Aromatherapy Calm Cedar Wood and Orange Body Wash. It's so funny because it's purple, you'd think it'd be lavender, but no, this smells incredible. I hope that this scent goes on sale again during their holiday semi-annual sale because I really do love it. But I do have another bottle that I'm using right now, but shortly I'm gonna put that one to the side and start using my holiday scents. But happy that I use that up. Because I use a loofah, it, they just last me a long time, I don't know. And then I'm finally throwing out this sponge. This is the beveled sponge from Shop Miss A. Such good quality. I like the real techniques a little bit better, but they're super duper comparable. Definitely recommend it. I use this for many, many months. I don't have any tears in it. It is stained. I actually have washed it, but it is, it is stained. So those are all the things that I used up since my last update, which was a heck of a lot. And my camera is about to overheat. So I'm gonna give it a second to chill. I'm gonna come back. The lighting's gonna be different like it always is. We're at 20 minutes. Yeah, this is gonna be maybe 45 minutes. Sorry. All right, y'all, we are back to show you the things that I am gonna be working on this month. And then I do have several declutters as well. And I am just going to go over the things in the order that I apply them. But in the description box, I will have them separated and in progress and newly added. So we will start with hair. I've got some foil samples. I have another Briogeo Scalp Revival Charcoal and Coconut Oil Micro Exfoliating Shampoo. I have the Christoph Robin Regenerating Mask with Rare Prickly Pear Seed Oil. And then I have the Dry Bar Blonde Ale Brightening Shampoo Conditioner, which I really love. Then 
for my travel sizes, this would be the Kenra Volumizing Shampoo Conditioner. I am a little bit more than halfway done with these, so I think I should be able to finish all these things by next month. Then my leave-in hair product is the It's a Tin Miracle leave-in product, the original version, which is still my favorite out of all the ones I've tried. And I am right to here, so I should still be working on this for two, three more months, somewhere in there. Love this product. Then for skincare, for makeup remover, still trucking with this mini lawn comb by Facil Face. I am right under the last line, so I'm not even gonna make any new marks on it. I just wanna finish this by the end of the year. I just need to like take a month to make myself use it. Then my other makeup remover product that I use the most is the Clean Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. And I wanted to show this to you guys because I'm almost done, yay. I do have a backup of this, but I'm so excited to have this one almost used up. But I did get a couple minis recently. So once I finish this, I went to work on the minis so I can get as many of them out of my collection as possible before my update in January. And the mini I'm gonna use after it is the Clean It Zero Cleansing Balm Original. So it's brand new, but I, I think I'd probably go through that quickly. Then for cleanser, I wanna to try to get through some more of these minis. So I have another of the Peach and Lily Power Calm Hydrating Gel Cleanser. And then my next oldest is the Dermalogica Active Clay Cleanser, which sounds great for my oily skin type. Then for scrub, I have the Tula So Poreless Deep Exfoliating Blackhead Scrub. So I think this is a different one than what I just used. I think so. So is this one like a sugar? I can't remember. I think this one might be more sugary. Anyway, I'm going to use it. Then for a toner type product, this is from Dermalogica's Clear Start line. It's the Micro Pore Mist. So I'm going to use that up. And then my other toner that I'm working on is the Saturday Skin 10% Glycolic Acid Pore Control Complex. And I am right here, so I'll definitely be working on this through the end of the year and probably a little bit after that. It comes with 4.22 fluid ounces. Then for serums for the daytime, I'm still working on my Murad Outsmart Acne Clarifying Treatment. I made a ton of progress from last month to this month, and I think it's just because the product in here finally kind of settled a bit. I do think I had some air bubbles in there before, so I'll probably still be working on this through the end of the year, but we'll see. But I do also wanna to try to get some of my minis out. So I'm gonna put this on hold and then I'm gonna start using the Sunday Riley CEO Vitamin C Serum for the day. Then for night, I will be using the Sunday Riley Good Jeans Glycolic Acid Treatment. Then when this is done, I will use my other tube of the It Cosmetics Hello Results Wrinkle Reducing Daily Retinol Serum and Cream. Then for Moisturiza, I have for the daytime the Murad Clarifying Oil-Free Water Gel. Basically, I want to try before now the end of the year to use up all the other products that are not the Belief Aqua Bomb. I feel like I'm good with moisturizers. I, I just bought full sizes of the ones that I love, so I wanna just use all the other random ones. Then I'll actually need to use my minis first because obviously they're older than the full sizes that I just bought. So anyway, I want to use that up. The Murad Clarifying Oil-Free Water Gel. Then for nighttime, my next oldest nighttime moisturizer is the Belief True Cream Moisturizing Balm. I've only used it a couple of times so far. And then for eye cream, I am using the Clarins Total Eye Lift. And I'm actually really liking that one so far. And then I want to bring in a mask to attempt to use because this is the only non-glam glow mask that I have. It's the Peach and Lily Pore Proof Perfecting Clay Mask. So it's a little tiny one, but we'll see. Then I've got some samples here that I want to use up. And one of those would be the First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Niacinamide Dark Spot Serum. Then I've got some more of the like peely type thing. So this is one that I had in last update. This is the Star Skin VIP 7 Second Luxury All Day Mask. I think I wanna use this 
Next are like in between these Dr. Dennis Gross ones so I can see how it compares. Then I've got my other Dr. Dennis Gross. So I have three samples in this little box and then I have two random samples that I got from Sephora orders. I think all of these came from Sephora orders. So again, I want to have these used up by the end of the year. Then I've got some sheet mask type products and both of these I got in some Look Fantastic subscription boxes. I will have my link down below if you guys want to sign up to get them. So this is the Skimono Radiance Recovery 4C eye patches and there's you know two eye patches in here so one use and then of course this is one use. This is the Beauty Pro Brightening Sheet Mask with Collagen, Vitamin C and Aloe Vera. So that should be easy enough to use. Then for body, I have my First Aid Beauty KP Bump Eraser Body Scrub and I was here at the last update, now I'm down here, and I think I still had a lot of products up at the top and now it really has come to the bottom, so this should be done by next month, which is great because I have a holiday body scrub that I want to start using. And then I have my Derma E Scar Gel. I barely use this at all, maybe like twice. So yeah, I need to pick up the pace with that. I would like to finish that by the end of the year. Same with this, which is something that I was planning to use on top of my lotion and top of my scar gel. This is the Olay Deep Hydration Serum with Hyaluronic Acid. So I want to get that done by the end of the year as well. I also didn't really use that. Part of that is now, you know, we have been making Landon sleep in his crib and that is also where I have my vanity and my skincare products. So I've been moving things back and forth between here and my desk and they're just all over the place and I, I'm hating it. I, I feel like I'm losing stuff more. It's messy around here. I'm, I'm just not loving it. So I need to try to figure something else out, but we'll see. There's obviously first row problems. Then I have the fun things that I'm looking forward to using and will feel like an accomplishment to use up. I mean, using up body products in general, besides like soap, <laughs> feels good. So I have three of these little freebie samples of the Sol de Janeiro Bomb Dia Bright Cream, which is their newest scent. So I would like to get through all of these by the end of fall. And these just come with 0.25 fluid ounces. I know when I went through like the original Boom Boom Cream and this size, I went through it very quickly. And then I have a little baby perfume I want to use up this year as well. This is Dolce & Gabbana, the only one. And I also have a travel purse size and a one ounce size of this as well. So I just wanna get through the little mini and this comes with five mils, oh sorry, 7.5 mils or 0.25 fluid ounces. So the same fluid ounces in these. So I like to get these used up. I'm not really going anywhere, but I can put on perfume for myself and my husband. So that's what I'm going to do. So lots of stuff to use this next month. Now for the, wow, oh, okay. I'm doing okay on time. So now for the things that I'm getting rid of. So there are some things that I've tried, some things I haven't. So I'm gonna start with the things that I've tried. And the first is something that I've tried to use and I just can't do it anymore. This is the Whey Dry Shampoo Foam. I do not like the way it feels in my hair. It doesn't soak up any oil. Like I don't get how this is a dry shampoo. I think it's just like a mousse. So no, goodbye. Then we have the Murad Retinol Youth Renewal Eye Serum. It is way too thin and I love serum type eye creams. Way too thin. It it just is not hydrating, it doesn't do anything. I think you need to pair this with another eye cream, maybe like on top of something that's thicker, but no. Then we have the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enrich Eye Base. That didn't do anything for me, nothing at all. So I'd rather pass it on because I have my belief. I'm liking the Clarins that I'm using now. Then I have some things that I'm going to toss. So this is not expired. I literally just got this like a month ago, but the smell is gross and I don't want to give this to someone else and then them think that I gave them a bad product. This is a Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench Hyaluronic Glow Serum. I tried the moisturizer from this line. I really like it. Something about this just smells really bad. So goodbye. Then I have two sunscreens that are not working for me. So Again, the first day beauty, I worked my way through one of them. The other one, I, I did use some of this, but I didn't finish it. I just hated that texture so much. It's not something I never wanted to wear under makeup. And then this one actually did expire in April. This is the Tula Protect and Glow Daily Sunscreen Gel. I didn't like this because I felt like it had pineapple chunks in it and was hard to blend in. So I have some Supergoop sunscreens that I like a lot more. And again, that resting beach face 
from Everyday Humans. Really love that one as well. So no, overhyped would for me, but not by those. And then I've got a basket of things that I did not try that I want to get rid of. Again, I was just looking at my products and thinking about like I would rather dedicate the time to trying some different new things that I'm really interested in or just using products that I love. So I got rid of a bunch of cleansers and moisturizers for the most part. So for the cleansers, that would be, that's that thing I just got. The texture of this is so crazy. This is like an actual like water. So I would think it was a toner, but it says it's a cleanser. Oh, cleanse the skin thoroughly before applying. Moisten a cotton ball, cover infected area with a thin layer two to three times a day. Oh, maybe it is a toner, but then two or three times a day, whatever. This is complicated for me getting rid of it. The Formula 10.0.6 So Totally Clean Deep Pore Cleanser. Okay, makes sense now, but no thanks. Mara Badescu Enzyme Cleansing Gel. I love the brand, but I would rather just have the Acne Facial Cleanser. And then the Peter Tim Thomas Roth Anti-Aging Cleansing Gel. Don't need it. Then I'm also going to be getting rid of this full size. I've never tried. Derma E Vitamin C Gentle Daily Cleansing Paste. I have other cleansers I would rather use. Then I've got serum, the Derma E Ultra Lift DMAE Concentrated Serum, and then the Proactive Pore Targeting Treatment. I plan on giving the pore products to my sister-in-law. Then a moisturizer. This is something I got from an Ipsy. This is the H2O Hydration Oasis Refreshing Gel Moisturizer. Just don't need it. Then a full size that I started using that I bought because of a foil sample I'm just not into. This is the Bliss Drench and Quench Cream to Water Hydrator for all skin types. The scent is like a little too florally for me. There's too much of a scent. It has like a, a thin texture, like a little greasier than I would like. The Aqua Bomb I think is way superior to this. So this is something that I'm actually gonna see if I can get my husband to use up. And then I'm gonna gift to a friend the Derma E Vitamin C Bright Patches that are under eye patches I just don't think I'm going to use them I'm bad about using that type of product so since it's like a full size I would rather just pass that on to someone else so I feel really good every time that I declutter some more products from my collection also of course feels great to use things up and I know we still have a little while before the end of the year but yes I already am thinking about my inventory numbers and wanting to get my collection down to just things that I really love so guys Thank you so much if you stuck through. If you did, let me know in the comments if you made it all the way through. You are a real champion. I'm so sorry this is late. I would like to make a promise to you that I'll catch up. I don't know. It is, <laughs> I, I was behind before I had a baby and now it's just very hard trying to work around his sleeping schedule because there is no schedule. We tried, it's not working. He's it's like sleep regression. It's all over the place. So I have a hard time planning around it. So I'm doing the best that I can, believe it or not. So I appreciate your patience and your understanding. Thank you guys for still watching my channel. Like, love you so much. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you soon. Bye, guys.